Are you an educator or administrator who needs a better way to manage your emails or process your paperwork? Well, let me show you how with Workflows from JotForm Enterprise. JotForm Enterprise is used by educational institutions around the world to collect, share, and manage their information. What you see here is a shared workspace. From here, any member of the team can quickly create online forms and workflows with drag and drop tools. You can automate file sharing, signature collection payments, and more with JotForm Workflow. For this example, we're gonna say a student needs an action plan to get back on track, and their teacher needs to coordinate that effort with the department chair, school counselor, and the parent or guardian of this child. First, let's build a quick form for the teacher to identify those who need to be involved and to capture that recommended action plan. So if we go to the top left-hand corner, we can choose to create, and if you have a paper form or signed document that you would like to use, you can always upload form here and choose to import a PDF form. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and head back and we're gonna start from scratch on the classic form. And over on the left-hand side, we can choose to add an element. And it's as simple as clicking the elements that you would like to add in. So for example, we'll do full name, email. And like I mentioned, we definitely want to do a file upload to capture that action plan. But let's go ahead and jump over into a finalized form. So here we can see we have teacher, student, parent, counselor, their grade level concerns. Then we have that file upload down at the bottom to capture that action plan. Next, we'll use the same drag and drop method to build out a workflow that will automate all the communication needed to implement this action plan. So up at the very top, I'm gonna to click on the settings button. Then on the left-hand side, we'll choose workflow. And we can see this one already has a workflow in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to edit. And our workflows are just as simple as our form builder. Over on the left-hand side, if we need to drag in any piece, we can drag and drop anywhere we need and we can add a task. We can add another layer of approval, a PDF report, an email, anything we need to add in here, we can do that as simple as drag and drop. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this task and we can see that as soon as someone fills out that student of concern form, it's gonna automatically go into the approval process. So if we choose the gear, we can see our two outcomes over on the left are approve and deny. We have our approvals as well as the completion rule. We can change this to be response from majority from all or from one person. So for this example, we're going to say this first level of approval is going to be the department chair. If it is approved, it's gonna come down here. We have the teacher's email letting them know that it has been approved. Then we have an email going to the parent guardian, letting them know that their student has been approved. And to review, let's take a look their student's action plan, perfect. And again, all of these are completely editable. Then we have this signed document down at the bottom, and this is for everyone to confirm the agreed upon action plan. So if I come up here, we see it's the student action agreement. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Right here, we have that student action agreement. But again, like I mentioned, if you already have a PDF version of a signed document, you can easily import it in. But we can see we have the student name, we have parent guardian, teacher, and counselor signatures. And then if we head back over to our workflow, we can see that once that is completed, it is signed, then the process ends. Now, if for any reason the department chair denies the request, it's going to automatically say that the form is going to require more information or action from you, and then it's going to automatically end. So let's go ahead and give this a quick test. I'm going to go ahead and open up this form. We'll do view form and I'll get this filled out. And then we have our action plan down here at the bottom. We'll go ahead and drag in our action plan and we'll report our student of concern. Perfect, now let's head back over to our workflow. And right now I'm gonna jump over into our inbox. This is where we can see data individually, one at a time. If you're wanting to see your data in aggregate, again, up at the top inbox, we can jump over to tables and we can see everyone here. But again, I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over to our inbox and we can see right here, John Cook is in process and we can see our action is required. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now, because I took the role as department chair, I can see here that I am that first step and I can either approve or deny. Now, I also received something in my email to let me know to come here to approve or deny, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave a quick comment and we will approve. And if we jump over into our sign inbox, we see that everyone has had a chance to sign that document from within the flow process. And we also have that audit trail as well. This is just one example of many ways that you can utilize JotForm Enterprise and workflows to automate your emails and paperwork. Click the links in the description down below to read case studies with educational institutions or contact our sales team for more information. I'll see you next time.